Hello, my name is Colleen and I am your glow host for this year's Mocha Lights, It Lights a Village. This year we are starting off at the PAC Center, which was originally built in 2011 to home artists and their families. It was built with a plain brick facade by the architects to showcase Patchogue's industrial history. And then some fun modern frames for their windows were added for a little flair. Lights on Mocha LI works by national, local, and international artists curated from open call. Experience the village of Patchogue as it transforms into Long Island's only open air art museum, curated by Beth Giacomo. And welcome to the United Methodist Church. This church was built in 1889 in a Gothic style with a pitched roof with medieval features. It has three glass windows, one of them being rumored to be an original Tiffany's. It was brought in by Tidden and Arnold from Brooklyn. And here we have our first work of art. This art is inside time by artist Nick Grazzi. Inside Time is a rare glimpse of what goes on in the middle of the world of a clock when time is relied too heavily upon in our day-to-day -day lives. Welcome to the Union Savings Bank. This bank was originally constructed in 1911 and was finished being built in 1912 by a group of Patchogue citizens. The building is encased in white marble in a neoclassic style. The art we see here is Swimmers by Fernando Lipschitz. Fernando's work is impregnated by the manipulation of the image. Many kinds of analog and digital techniques such as stop motion, digital composition, photography, and mixing completely different worlds, he manipulates reality, showing a new perspective of life. Uplifting, dreamlike, and fun, the Argentinian artist Fernando Lipschitz works playfully through the magic of realism. His stories unfold organically, showing the extraordinary as something ordinary and common, going deeper into reality through the wonder that is creating a charming and mind-boggling mood. Winner of the Young Directors Award, he has worked for brands such as McDonald's, Nissan, Coca-Cola, and is creating the opening scenes for CBS's Late Show with Stephen Colbert. His projects go viral rapidly and he has been seen by more than 70 million people. Welcome to the Carnegie Library. The Patchogue Medford Library originally started in 1889 as an association and went public in 1900. They housed, were housed in seven different locations before finding their home here in 1908. The building was constructed with $15,000 donated by Andrew Carnegie. The Patchogue Medford Library was here until 1881 and then Briarcliff College moved on in. Then the building was vacant for a number of years and it was housed on Lake Street. That land was originally donated by Edwin Bailey. This building was moved not once, but twice in 2012 to its current home here. It was then architecturally restored to its historical greatness of the 1900s. It opened up again in 2016 as the Carnegie Teen Center. And in the basement, you can find the Greater Patchogue Historical Society. Look out for them on Fridays and Saturdays. The Carnegie Library, Building Memories, Artist Lovied. Building Memories is a video collage of photos and videos from the archives of the Carnegie Building. Special thanks to Patchogue Medford Library staff and the Greater Patchogue Historical Society. Undulate, artist Takafumi Eid. This work is an imaginary wave that came into the mind when I learned about the marine pollution of Long Island was progressing and asked myself, what could I do as an artist? The object flying around 
the monitors represents the strength of butterflies that crosses continents, even with their small bodies. I made it with the hope that nature, such as the sea and greenery, will be enriched by the small actions of each of us. Welcome to Bank of America. Here we start our journey back in 1925 when the Trust Bank formed into the Patchogue Bank. This bank merge happened in 1933 during the Great Depression and it is proven that the Patchogue Bank when they were bailed out paid back their last payment in 1953 which was covered by the Patchogue Advance. Here we have the Patchogue Bank which you can still see the name engraved on the top in their neoclassic style with their Greek columns. This is Starwall Patchogue, artist Kelly Bell. Starwall Patchogue transforms the neoclassical facade of the Bank of America into a Porcio floating among the heavens. Planets, stars, and the decians of the zodiac swirl and dip the golden columns. Stand back and enjoy the passing of the solar year or stand within the starry gates and pose with your favorite sun sign. Starwall Patchogue recognizes the fantastic and playful present in our everyday surroundings. In Starwall ma is mapped out projections, restore the architecturally mundane and authoritative Greco-Roman features of the bank to their former glory, temporarily reestablishing the site as a place of mystery and wonderment. Welcome to the Patchogue Post Office. The post office was built in 1930 by architecture John Von Pelt. Fun fact, he is the same architect that built the Carnegie Library. This building was built mainly in limestone and a brick exterior. Monoplexity, artist Andre Budisco. Monoplexity focuses on the challenges of the mind in stressful situations. Through the line of thoughts is constant and infinite. Materialism of the thought of the idea can be done only by choosing the important element and concentrating all energy on it. The mind has an outstanding complexity and power and can only filter one idea at a time, like envelopes with a single piece of information that is being sent to different receptors so that this information can be processed and materialized. Monoplexity puts together a portrait of the mind from its simplicity to its complexity, from memory to present, from monochrome to polychrome. Social fabric, artists Andrea Coate and Anne Robidoux. Social fabric is a performative video project that explores how we embody personal and communal movement languages through containment and connection in domestic and public spheres. The artists invited both professional dancers and recreational movers to explore movement inside six, four, six foot square sheets delineated with geometric forms and cosmological patterns. As we occupy this present lineal zone, the spaces we inhabit physically and internally are at once intimate and interconnected. And welcome to the Patchogue Benford Library. The library used to be home to WT grants back in the 1950s. Many people have fond memories of being able to go to the soda counter after school to get a five cent hot dog. Prior to it being WT grants, it used to be the home of Dr. William Rowe, which was turned into a boarding house. The house was then demolished to build this building here. Artist Amanda Riley. The conceptualization of this piece, Amanda chose to portray a piece of literature that re resonates with her personality, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. During the COVID lockdown that took place last year, Amanda dealt with many emotional challenges. Faced by the monsters of crippling grief, depression, and anxiety, she sought out creative and positive ways to overcome it. Alice, the protagonist in this piece of iconic literature, matures throughout the story and is able to outsmart and overcome many peculiar struggles and obstacles put before her. In the artist's painting, she illustrates Alice being whisked away down the rabbit hole into Wonderland by butterflies, 
which are symbols of transformation. On her journey, she is joined by the famous characters, the White Rabbit and the Cheshire Cat. The 2021 edition of the Patchogue Medford Library mural was created by artist Caitlin Shea. This season's coming of age mural, Circadian Rhythm, is a colorful look at one of the year's lesser calamities, the emergence of the Cicada Broad 17, AKA Broad X. The mural depicts the life cycle of dandelion flowers and cicadas, which emerge from the ground every 17 years. The mural is meant to bring bright colors and joy to the community while highlighting the beauty of broad X cicadas, which are now believed to be extinct on Long Island. Miss Shea sees the beauty of these creatures and recognizes their importance to the health of our natural ecosystems. This is an annual collaboration between PAC and the Patchogue Medford Library. This year, the piece is animated by North Stream and utilized video taken by Brian Van. Welcome to the Patchogue Theater for Performing Arts. This building used to be home to Warden Glynn's Theater, opening in 1923. Broadway productions, vaudeville acts, and burlesque shows were very popular. Then the theater became a movie theater after the Great Depression, where it remained vacant after that for a number of years, when the Patchogue Village purchased it in 1997 to revitalize the downtown Patchogue. Welcome to the Art on Marquee. In collaboration with the Patchogue Theater of Performing Arts, a rotating series of artist-created videos, GIFs, and animations turn the digital marquee into an alternative exhibit venue. The series of works curated for the art on the marquee were selected from Open Call. This is currently the only marquee exhibit on Long Island. Outdoor projected galleries will be placed in two locations throughout the village. Works included in the program were selected from an international open call to artists working in all media and invited by the curatorial team Wavelength. Our second location is the Night Visions Gallery at the Betterman Distillery Company. How do I end a mocha tour? At the Betterman Distillery, of course. You can get your very own Springfield Electric Glow Drink. And you can take in the unique atmosphere. Did you know this used to be the distillery for Blue Point Brewery? It was then bought out by Betterman Distillery and they opened up in late 2019 to the public. Check out their amazing decor. Cheers. <laughs>